Good evening, church. Welcome as we gather in, online this night to be reminded once more that in this season that proclaims joy and happiness and togetherness, that it is also a very difficult time for many of us. Maybe you've experienced a, the loss of a loved one. Maybe you've gone through a significant life change. Maybe someone you love has been diagnosed with a deadly disease. Or maybe the cold and the dark of this time of year has caused you to be less than joyful. As we gather for our hard to be merry Christmas service, we are reminded that we come in whatever way wherever our hearts are, however our minds are spinning, that we can come and hear the story once more of the Christ child being born into our world, into and for our hurt and our pain and our struggle. So let us begin hearing these words from Matthew chapter 11. Jesus is speaking and says this, Come to me, all who, you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. A prayer which comes from Jan Richardson, a prayer called Blessing When the World is Ending. Look, the world is always ending somewhere. Somewhere the sun has come crashing down, somewhere it has gone completely dark, somewhere it has ended with a gun, a knife, a fist, somewhere it has ended with a slammed door the shattered hope. Somewhere it has ended with the utter quiet that follows the news from the phone, the television, the hospital room. Somewhere it has ended with a tenderness that would break your heart. But listen, this blessing means to be anything but morose. It has not come to cause despair. It is simply here because there is nothing a blessing is better suited for than an ending. Nothing that cries out more from a blessing than when the world is falling apart. This blessing will not fix you, will not mend you, will not give you false comfort. It will not talk to you about one door opening when another closes. It will simply sit itself beside you among the shards and gently turn your face towards the direction from which the light will come, gathering itself about you as the world begins again. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, in the darkness of this night we come to you trusting that you hear our prayers understand our frailties, and seek to bring healing. Hear our cries and open our eyes and hearts to your loving presence. We struggle with illnesses, physically and emotionally, that seek to overcome our bodies and overwhelm our spirits. We feel lost and isolated in the darkness of frailty and fear fear of the uncertainty in which we live. Healing God, mend our bodies and spirits as we lean into the promise of your presence and goodness. We were created to be in relationship with one another, and yet our lives are marked by broken relationships, strained friendships, 
and families estranged from one another. In this season of togetherness, we feel the loss of loved ones even more deeply. God of reconciliation, grant that your spirit move every human heart, that the barriers dividing us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease. We are created in the image of God, and yet we are bombarded with messages that declare we are unworthy and that we do not belong. We are held captive by unhealthy habits, selfish desires, and overwhelming insecurities. Almighty God, fill us with confidence that we, as part of your creation, are fearfully and wonderfully made called to love ourselves as much as we love others. We were created for a purpose, but have lost our direction due to the changes in unemployment, housing, and finances. The path forward seems uncertain. Providing God, remind us of your call in our lives, which frees us from restlessness and anxiety, and renew us daily as we navigate the opportunities and challenges that we encounter each day. We were made for connection, and yet our hearts have been broken by unexplainable violence, unspeakable horror with the death of innocent people at the hands of others, and through the devastation brought on by nature's power. Despair and fear seem to grow deeper each day. Gracious God, revive us from our suffering and grant us peace of mind and restore us in your peace. Hear God's promise. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who have lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nations, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and his name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Receive this blessing. This Christmas, may God's light crumple up the darkness. May God's love pull us closer to one another. May God's peace fill you like the angels sang. May God's starlight guide you on your way home. May God's promises keep hope alive for you. And may God, newly born and in the flesh, shine a light of hope into our world. Amen. Go in peace, my friends. <laughs>